All right, the objective here is to really understand how the pH scale or the pOH scale works for that matter. And one thing, or basically the big thing that you have to understand is that every time we change the pH by one unit, we've actually changed the hydrogen ion concentration responsible for acid behavior by tenfold in that solution. So if we could look at this as sort of a visual way of looking at it, uh, if you take this big box and realize that as H plus concentration increases, you'll see that the box really gets fat up here and the OH ion corner of that box is very small. So as H plus ion concentration increases in a solution, the hydroxide ion concentration decreases, but there's always some of both present. When we get to the pH 7 level, we'll notice that the OH ion and the H plus ion concentrations are equal, and then anything below that line the hydroxide ion is the dominant species in that solution. So we do have some H plus and some OH present in any aqueous solution. It's the one that's present in greater concentration that determines whether it's an acid or a base. And then making this just a little bit mathematical, if we wanted to look at this chart over here, you can kind of see as I go from pH, say, 1, where the hydronium ion concentration is 0.1 molar, to pH 2, the concentration is changed to 0.01 molar. So it's sort of an upside down chart. You've got to think of it this way. I think you probably already know. The lower the pH value, the stronger the acid is. And so if I'm coming back up the pH scale, for every unit that I change, I've changed uh, 1 power of 10 uh, less concentrated with H+. Uh, so let's play around a little bit. Let's say you uh, spilled some acid into uh, the swimming pool and the pH in your swimming pool changed from say 7 uh, to 3. All right, So that's a change of 4 units on the pH scale. That does not say that the swimming pool water is now 4 times more acidic. It's saying that it has changed uh, 4 powers of 10 now. So we're actually 10 to the fourth times stronger at pH 3 than we are at pH 7. Uh, so you could play that game with any two numbers that you want to look to look at. Uh, if you were comparing pH 6 to pH 1, we would say that the hydrogen ion concentration has changed by a power of, or by a factor of 10 to the fifth power. Uh, so that's how the pH scale works. It's not a linear scale. It's actually a tenfold scale.